today, Friday, events day. So um, we'll see Tom in the warehouse shortly. Um, I've got log to do. Um, and we're, this is actually about a week out before um, Vegas. But see, we don't have log press in Vegas, but read into that whatever you may want. Um, so yeah, I've got a work up to out of the racks of singles, so I'm doing out of the rack stuff for a one rep, um, doing a one rep today, just building up with something nice, see how that goes. And then we'll go to the warehouse, see Tom. Tom's got some other bits and pieces he's doing there. Um, there I've got wrecking ball hold and some stones. So we're maybe going to see Tom wearing tape today, doing the stones. So stay tuned for that, so we'll see. Pressing's gone pretty well the last little while, so trying to feel back to, you know, pushing bigger weights, which is nice. So, yeah, who knows what's going to happen next year with the log and stuff. I think I've got one more little heavy prep in me. Me and this baby. If you're kind to a log, she'll be kind to you. <coughs> Stomach's been dodgy today for some reason, which is a bit annoyed. I think I've been to the toilet about five times and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, so. One little bit spicy. <laughs> the one thing I don't like about, well, it's not I don't like it, but I find difficult is the log position, so when, when I'm cleaning from the ground, it just sits nicely. So it's, because I'm so used to doing that motion all the time, cleaning out of the rack, this is a little bit lower. So I've kind of got to widen my legs a little bit. I get it up, and then it just takes a little second to find that position. So that's what I said back to Shane, like, the press, the press is feeling strong, but getting that position right in my chest is a bit more of a, a challenge than normal, like, floor to overhead log press. You kind of, I need to be careful just to maximise that kind of position. And this log is a slightly smaller diameter as well, so it's a little bit more challenge, I find. I find, I've said it before, but as I go on, in long press, I feel I get better. I was doing 160 for, I don't know, whatever, a big set of 10. Or not a set of 10, but I had to do 10 sing singles in as quick a time as I could, but the more I got into it, the better it felt. Um, just finding that pop, finding that groove. Yeah, long press is like, like that, I find. The more I get warm up, like warmed up into it, my explosive kind of muscles, it's all firing, you know, it takes a little while, it takes a, a few sets for me to get warmed up with, with this. Um, yeah, we'll see. If I look at what I've lifted before, my, like 228, 229 kilos, this is still quite light in percentage wise, so, like for my CNS to get fired up, to get ready for it, you know, it just needs a little bit more priming, I think. Um, because I'm older. It's like the old diesel engines, it needs a little bit more time to warm up and, and you can't put your foot down straight away. And like these new electric cars, you can just go and boom and you're away. I'm on an old diesel truck. So, 170. Now. I'll we'll put 180 on next. Thank you. 
I've got a haircut after this as well, so apologies to Helen for coming in stinking. said do one rep, work up to a nice heavy one rep, like kind of leave something back though, but at 180 still felt decent so 190 would be nice, just to clean you can see I'm a bit off, like cleaning it from that height it's a weird one. <laughs> just gone. So annoying that when I cleaned it, I kind of took another breath and then it kind of, you lose a little bit of pop. pop yeah. So I put 200 on. I want to throw it up. So clean it, keep that breath, I'll fucking explode up with it. That's, that's what you want. That's where you get a nice pop. Hey, oh, come on now. Bro, oh. <laughs> breathe, and you can believe and achieve anything if you just breathe. Oh, that's better. Jeez, that's nice. That was 200. Not bad. Bobby, we'll see you next year. Nice Tom. There you go. It's five Tom.
Warehouse. So big Tommy's been hitting. What do you do? Dumbbell. Dumbbell yoke. No. Put it in grip. Grippy. So we're gonna be doing the our mod setup for the wrecking ball hold. See how it goes. People didn't come. Knuckles will dig into your legs. Let them dig into your legs. A minute. Come on, hold it. Come on. You control it, Tom. Come on. One ten. Ten left. Right. Squeeze into your legs. Come on, hold it. It's one twenty. Cyrus. He's not Miley Cyrus in it. He's not naughty. He's done pig, dumbbell, yoke. I was done log about an hour ago. Rock in, fresh as anything.
to look for the we'll get a walk to as well. Turn the light. Just face the one. I've got too short. Last session, I'm absolutely rubber duck there. So, um, that, that dumbbell first, six reps at 105 is massive for me. Um, so, dumbbell used to be a weakness, so I know that I'm gonna go over there and at least hit seven plus. And then, yoke was nice. Uh, that grip thing's absolutely brutal. I really passed out, it was like me on a Saturday night coming home from the pub, geez, oh. uh, And then, stone jet. The path here right now, I need to cover all bases because um, see when, like, when it's hot and sunny outside, I don't think skin does very well, especially some of the tackle we got didn't stick very well. But when you have sleeves or that um, stuff that Luke uses, put them uh, wrap my uh, arms in tape and put a t-shirt on and I did, did it. So it's good to be able to do it everywhere. You know, I'll do it maybe tops off sometimes top on, tape off, tape on, so it's always improving, but yeah, it was a good stone run to finish, first time with tape and I finished it, so that's good for you. Um, been sweating very badly in here, there's no like real air in here, it's been hot up in the highlands as well, so like, you can see when I've got the top off it just sweats and so much better having a t-shirt on, it's not as sweaty as it is under here, so yeah, it's nice to always learn, but I'm happy with that, we're going to go to Vegas. Bring some spice in it, take home a title, stay spicy.